everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So what I want to work on today with you guys is my accordion junk journal series. And if you guys need to get caught up with me, I will put the playlist on the end screen and we can all get caught up together here. So what I want to work on today is I want to do the covers on the front and side covers on both sides. So I got all my goodies everywhere. I'm not sure what I'm going to incorporate or how I'm going to do it. And I want to go through the process with you guys so I can show you guys my process that I do. So let's just get started here. Okay. So I will show you guys stuff as I'm using it and what I'm using. So let's see. So let's just go ahead and start with the cover. So this is our cover. And what I want to do, I have an idea for the cover here, is I made a Rolodex Roundup. It's a little playlist that I have, and I'll make sure to put that on the end screen. And it's, I show you guys how I um, just decorate Rolodex cards and stuff. So I got like a whole Rolodex here that we have fun, doing some fun made some fun little things here so yeah so if you guys want to go check that out I'll make sure to put that on the end screen so you guys can see that so today I just want to go ahead and I want to put all this down because it's already ready here and I think that's what we're gonna do so the cool thing about playing with an accordion journal is that you can open it up and so everything inside if you want to. So what I'm thinking is, is I want this on the inside, the corrugated cardboard, and then I want this on the outside. So I'm gonna put these together like this, open it up, and I'm gonna go to my sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch all the way around both sides just to stitch it all into place. And then when you do that, just make sure that your, uh, your closure here is out of the way so it's not all bunched up like this or underneath where you don't see it and you sew it. Yeah, and it's a big mess. So just make sure it's out of the way when you sew. And I will bring you guys to the sewing machine and show you guys how I do it. All right, so I, you can, now you can tack this down with uh, glue if you want if that makes you feel a little bit better. I usually just kind of fly by the seat of my pants kind of person here <laughs> and just see what happens, but let's go ahead and do that. So if you want, we got the corrugated on this side. So just whatever you're gonna have on the inside of your journal. And you can do a little tack down. And I would just keep the glue towards the center so you're not gumming up your needle because you don't want your needle to get glue all over it. Okay, so we'll tack that part down. And then, just a little bit of glue. We can tack this down to where we want it. I think I might go over like that a little bit. There we go. Okay. And they're, they're not gonna be lined up perfectly but whatever doesn't sew down, I can always just glue with Fabrifix glue. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna do a straight stitch. Just do a back stitch at the beginning, make sure your closure's over out of the way. back up, turn it so it's all bunched over here on the side. Okay, spin around. And then just make sure your closure, just keep checking it so it's not all tucked up where you don't want it. There 
we go. So we got that. And then we got that. So you can see I didn't really catch it on this side right here. So I can just go back through and sew it if I want to or glue it. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't really matter because this is tacked down pretty good. It's not going anywhere. And I don't mind it. So there we go. So we got our inside and then our cover here. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to use for the back here, I decided to go ahead and use some found, a found relative from Tim Holtz here. And I think I have everything I'm showing you guys from Tim Holtz and stuff down below in my Amazon links. If not, let me know, and I will put that for you. So let's see. Um, I think that would be cute. Let's do that. Let's use her. I like her. Okay. So I want to add her back here. Corrugated cardboard. Like this. Got some ripped edges here. There we go. So I'll put that on the inside. So let's go ahead and do our tack down here. I'm just using the Yoohoo stick, glue stick. It seems to work pretty good. Back down, just so it doesn't move on you. Makes life a little bit easier. Okay, and there we go. So I'm gonna go do the same thing, and I'm just gonna do go and sew all the way around, and I'll be back. All right, so there we go. So we got the back here, and then we got the inside. So you can see I didn't really catch some of it there, or even down here, but I think that looks great. And we're gonna uh, collage over the top of all of it anyway. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the front here. So I got these fun little flower clusters that I showed you guys how to make, and I'll make sure to put that on the end screen and you guys can come check it out. So what I wanna do is glue it right here because I think that would look really cute. And it's got my Fabrifix glue. So these are fun just little clusters you can make with, uh, um, you know, just your leftover fabrics and even papers that you have and laces and then you can add your buttons and stuff to it. Um, so I just have a paper clip. This is just a paper clip that I bent. So when it's clogged like that, it usually unclogs this pretty good. So I'm just gonna glue this down. We got our cover done here. I think that turned out really cute. Okay, now for the inside, I am just going to grab my uh, threads with little bits of fabrics, some coffee dyed fabric here, maybe even throw in some just some of this. I think that's kind of cool. With the little X's and stuff on it. Um, what else do we have? I mean, I even have some. This avocado bag netting, which is nice to use. Some grunged up that I collaged on um, parchment paper and dyed it with coffee. And so this is just some grungy paper, some packaging. I mean, just anything you guys got hanging around. Some scrap papers, uh, some coffee dyed fabrics, and just pretty fabrics and more netting of, you know, bags. I think this was a ham we had it for Thanksgiving, our ham was in it. It's a ham bag, uh, like netted little bag. So things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this in a fun process time lapse. And I'm gonna decorate the inside here and the inside here. And then I will come back and we'll talk about it.
All right, so I think this turned out really cute. So there's the cover that we did together. And I really like that, I think that's fun. And let's see here, so the inside, um, I was just recording with you guys and I thought I was, I didn't know I was on the time lapse. So I did that with you guys here and got her all glued on and I just took my sanding block and just did some sanding on, it, on her just to get some little rough spots on there and then did some spritzing with my instant coffee and water and you can just put it into a spritz bottle, a little spray bottle. And this is great just to grunge things up. And that's what I did with the lace here. I did a little spraying with the coffee and put some fabrics down. I did some filled notes from Tim Holtz. I added some curator little note, little goodies that you can glue down. I glued her on a little toadstool here so she could she's sitting on it. And I thought that was really cute. Um, Use my threads and some little scraps just to put behind her and just to have throughout some coffee dyed paper, some avocado bag, uh, some grungy, all this little grunginess. So anything you guys got hanging around, lace, grungy papers, just kind of layer them up. And I think that turned out really fun on the inside here. Okay. And now on the back here, we did just the found relatives. And then I did some sewing around. I did straight stitch and just some zigzag. Uh, put some fabric tape, just the Tim Holtz fabric tape down. And I made a fun little burrito, which I showed you guys in the time lapse. I'll make sure to keep that on there. But uh, I, was, I did not know that I wasn't recording on regular video. <laughs> but what I did is just took some fabric like this, you know, like a bigger piece of fabric for the back. Um, added some yarn, which is just a fun fur eyelash yarn, which is great. I love using it. I put that, some of that in the middle, just pop down some lace or anything you got. And then you just pinch it kind of like a burrito. And then I just took, uh, just some, um, fabric. I did a little twist, went around it, did a little twist, went around it. But before I went around it the second time, I just took my Fabrifix glue, put a dab of glue, and then I went over like that. Grabbed my button, put some yarn through the middle of it or some thread, and then glued that on top. So just layer, just layer a bunch of stuff up and then just pinch it in the middle and then just tie some fabric or yarn or thread or twine, anything like that in the middle. And then you could just pop it off with the button on top or, you know, a cute little you know, a little ephemera piece or something. You could do all kinds of things, just glued into the middle, just for a focal point. And then there you go. And then I glued that down at the bottom. Got her all looking good back here. Oh, I did a little uh, sandpaper just to do some roughing up right there. And then some spritzing with my coffee. And then I went on the inside here and put down some more curator, filled notes, threads. Uh, I got some rainbow snippet uh, ruffles that I just did with some rainbow thread. Put that down, sprayed it, grunged it up. Put down some uh, fun snippets that I had sewn together of fabric in the background with some lace and just did some stacking up with some threads and things like that. Um, added some of the yarn, eyelash yarn, a little eyelet in it, did a bulb pin with beads on it, and thought tokens, Tim Holtz, just some fun little thought tokens. I clipped that to it and have a little dangler. So there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel Hit the notification bell and you guys will see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.